good morning. I don't care if I look rough because I'm not going anywhere today unless it's to get food. But um, it's Saturday. We're two days out from the final and the next, the goal of today is to make myself feel confident with all of the information. I've seen at least every single thing that we're going to be tested on at least once or twice at this point. And now it's just time to commit it to memory. So yeah, that's, the lighting's terrible, but that's the goal of today. Um, so I'm going to study the biochem flashcards that I made last night. Actually, I have two that I want to finish up and then I'll do the rest later. But yeah and then once i'm done learning those i'll probably study micro for a little bit i made all the micro flashcards except for like the last lecture i had like three or four slides that i should probably put in but i'm not even going to worry about those because i don't think they're going to be up there and then um yeah all right let's let's get to work okay guys i look crazy but look at what I just made. So we have the motivation board, right? I wanna to go to Target and I wanna watch a movie tonight, but I'm only gonna do those things if I get these things done. So obviously everything on the Target list needs to be done first because I really wanna to go to Target and I can always watch the movie another night. So study gluconeogenesis, fatty acid flashcards, already did that. Put half, which is two lectures that I have left for biochem in the Quizlet. And then one hour on week two biochem. Then I could go to Target. For the movie night, I need to put all of the biochem into Quizlet. See how I built off of that. Study 60% of the micro Quizlet. And then answer micro practice. What? Quizlet 80%. Ooh, that's a little ambitious, but let's go. Then over here is the before final board. So biochem, micro Quizlet 90%. This professor's practice questions, then his study guide. Then I have Old Kahoot, 100% completion, perfection, drawings, and cumulative micro quizlet. So as you can see, we have a lot to get done. The time, oh, I look so ratchet, but I, I just couldn't do my hair today, okay? We have a lot to do, we have a lot to do, but anyways. The time is 12.30. Also, I've been wearing this neck wrap because my neck's been hurting and I feel like this like puts down weight on your, your neck so it like elongates it or whatever. I don't know if that's really what it's meant to do. I, don't even, I just look so gross. But hear me out. I'm going to mark off the thing that I did for Target. I really need to clean up this office too. Don't look at it. So we only have two, ooh, two more things to do before Target. I think I'm gonna start with the Quizlet and then I'll do the one hour of Biochem last because I haven't done, I haven't really studied the second week worth of material really. Like I went to the review session on it and yeah. So I think I'm gonna start off, like I said, by watching some YouTube videos and then filling in the gaps from there. Um, there's only about 15 questions of the new stuff, so I'm really hoping that it's really just big picture, not that many minute details. Um, and then I'll be able to go to Target, and that will be my little break. So the goal is to get all of this done before 2 or 3, so that when I go to Target, it's like, I go to Target, I eat dinner, I relax a little bit, maybe watch a YouTube video, and then I shower, I'm gonna wash my hair tonight. Yeah, then I'll come back. I don't really think that I'm gonna watch the movie tonight, but, you know, we're gonna try. I wanted to watch it yesterday, I just didn't get enough done. And for those of you that are probably like, oh my gosh, she's really like not letting herself watch a movie. Obviously, if I really wanted to watch the movie, I would let myself watch the movie. Like, I watched the whole summer I turned pretty in like one night, and I'm doing okay. So, yeah, I just think that it's, I work better when I have motivation. It's a lot. It's a lot for sure. But, hey, this is, this is what we want to do. And this is what it takes. So we're going to do this, okay? We're going to turn on our, I need to make a study playlist. I might do that during my, my longer break today. 
I don't even know what you listen to on a study playlist. Right now, if I like really want to focus and just want something on in the background that I can't sing along to, I will listen to the Bridgerton <laughs> albums on Apple Music. <laughs> Everybody always puts study playlists on like Spotify. I don't have Spotify. I mean, I guess if I looked it up on Apple Music, I could probably find it, but they always have lyrics and whatnot, and your girl will start belching along to the song. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing for the next few hours, so I just want to check in. And yeah, I've just been studying gluconeogenesis and fatty acids. I feel like I did so much more. Oh well, alright. Okay, this is actual footage of how my sister just walked in and said that I'm going insane. Okay, yeah, so that's how I look. But listen, I might be having a rough day today. I might look like who did it and why. But I will always look this way. And I will always feel this way. And I'm going to make sure my neck and my back are okay. And they're not okay from sitting out in that chair. Where is it? You can't even see it because it's all the way over here. Sitting down in that chair for 18,000 hours. Okay, so you got to do what you got to do. Okay, because one day, I, it won't be like this. Now I might be like this for about 10 years, but one day it won't. I'm going to compromise with myself. So I feel like sometimes I'm overly ambitious and instead of doing one hour before I go to Target I'm gonna try to do 30 minutes because it's already three o'clock and I definitely wanted to take my break by three and then start working again by six so, <laughs> there's just not enough hours in the day to do everything that I want to do but I'm gonna take a quick five minute break because I'm tired like my body's giving out on me, my hands are cramping, my back hurts, my neck hurts. And then I'm gonna get back to work for 30 or so minutes. Um, and then I'm gonna be done for a few hours, probably around three or four. Um, and then I'm gonna get back to work. So it'll be later in the evening, the next time you guys see me. Hopefully I look like a new person. I'll probably still look tired, but maybe I'll look a little bit better somehow, some way. Re-energize. Okay. I'll see y'all later this evening. Okay. Hello. I am back from my long break, everyone. I think I finished up around 3.45, 4. And I went to Target and I watched that movie. Even though I did not finish the things that I was going to tell you about. Mostly because... I needed a long break and if I didn't do something that I wanted to do I would have started studying again and last time I had so much like anxiety throughout the midterm and just like shakiness and like I don't know I don't know so I just don't want it to be like that this time honestly but anyways so I watched the movie based off of love and gelato the book I gave what did I say I gave it if we're doing out of five, it was probably like a 3.7, 4.2, so like around there, like it was pretty good. The movie, a zero. How are you gonna change? You take out characters, you change characters whole, like their whole backstory, their whole plot line, but say it's based off the book, like, no, no. I, I made a TikTok about it, Um, I'm very pressed. This is why you don't just watch like when your favorite books are made into a movie and you're an avid book reader, this is what we're talking about. This is why we get scared, okay? This is why we were apprehensive about it. Now, the summer I turned pretty, it won't like that. Everything that my lady Jenny, what's her last name, Han? Is that it? Hold on. I hope I'm not saying it wrong because I love her. Yeah, Jenny Han or Jenny Han, however you say it. Um, summer I turned pretty, masterpiece in the book masterpiece on the show okay and i'm really she's the first author honestly that i think has done this that instead of going the traditional movie route is turning it into a show and i've always wondered why more people don't do this like if you have a book series that's about like this is what i think after should have done 
even though I after is one of my favorite book series hands down I think it's number the summer I turn pretty is really really good to all the boys I've ever loved really but, but it's up there like they're all together um but more like I think after should have been turned into a series like they literally cut out so much stuff and they can say it's because of COVID blah 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 blah, blah. no because you cut out stuff in the first movie that was in the first book okay you ain't fooling nobody you're not fooling this book gal right here okay one day I'm gonna make a video about all my books it's just not happening because yeah anyways um what was I saying it sucked. Long story short. The Love and Gelato movie, it sucked. I, I, out of five, I'm giving it a one. Um, because I can't go any lower. I could give it a zero. <laughs> I could give it a zero. That's my brother. Say hey. Oh, thing going on here. Um, I just came back. I'm telling them that I'm about to like, start studying again. AMC Cheesecake Factory. Those are moms that I bought her. Anyways. Thanks. Why would you make a movie and it's and you say it's based off the book, but then you change so much of it that it's it's literally not like just because you have the same title, does not mean that it's it's. Mm. Anyways, so yeah, that's how I, I I didn't waste an hour and a half of my life because I would have watched it anyways, but I'm just kind of angry. The book was really good. It was decent. It was solid. It was solid. B plus A minus material and the movie was an F. If I could give it a lower grade, I would, but it does not exist. Yeah, but what anyways. What book are you talking about? Love and Gelato. I just watched the movie for it. Nothing like the book. Oh, you get a lot of things like that. Though. No! How are you going to say it's based off the book and then literally, okay, so the main character, she's like, this is not a spoiler by the way, but I'll cut it out. The main character is a soccer player she's a runner mm -hmm. in the book i mean in the movie none of that none of that she okay she's supposed to be her mom passed away from cancer right and she's supposed to be figuring out who her dad was tell me why they tell us who her dad is before the movie's even halfway over i mean she's supposed to figure it out on her own yeah i don't know that was and they weird. like the whole plot is messed up anyways all right well long story short i'm gonna tell y'all the game plan for tonight so we're gonna spend an hour on week two stuff another hour then we're gonna spend the rest of the time doing micro until I get tired of looking at micro and then we need to put in biochem flashcards the rest of them so the goal is we're gonna say that I start at 8 15 because I'm about to go downstairs to make a coffee 9 15 I'm done with biochem week two 9 30 I start micro I want to be done with micro I think I could put in a good two hours so 11 30 done because then i have to put in the longest two packets of biochem into quiz i don't know why i waited i don't know but that's just what i decided to do so i'm gonna put them in and hopefully i'll get them all done if i don't then it will be enough to just quickly put them in in the morning like it won't be that many and then i don't even want to think about tomorrow because it's game time all right i'll let y'all know how much i actually get done i can't do it I, my neck is hurting, my back is hurting, <laughs> um, I'm calling it a night, it is 12, but I did get a lot done, and I wrote down on this note card everything that I would like to achieve tomorrow, and yeah, it's gonna be a long day, but at the end of the day, I think I can do this, I think that, you know what, you guys don't care, and I'm too tired to tell you guys, so, I feel... Uh, maybe 50 60 percent on both i don't know i'll feel better tomorrow for sure so i'm gonna go to bed and i'll see you guys bright and early <laughs> guys i look terrible so we're just gonna make this clip short it's about 6 40 and i'm gonna work for two hours and then 30 minute break work for two hours 30 minute break off and on until about 12 41 o'clock then I'll take a long break and then we'll get back on it at around 6 or 5 and the goal is to get through everything that I need to get through today um, before I would say 9 9 30 
Okay, I'll see you when I look a little less scary. Like, I literally just rolled out of bed and literally, that's all I did. Roll out of bed and then come in here to start studying. So I look scary. <laughs> the sun's not even up yet. Hi, chickadees. I don't even know when the last time I talked to you was. I think it was this morning. It's five. I've been studying. I did go out for lunch for like an hour or two and I've just been studying ever since. Um... Don't I look so much better now? It's crazy what a shower will do for you. <laughs> right now, I have my big to-do list right there. But I need to put all my lectures in front of me to see what I'm actually getting done. Because this is way harder than I thought it would be. Once again, that's like the theme of my life with this program so far. what our last lecture was. That's, that's how many we have. Honestly, Biochem has so much stuff, like I can't even, I can't even write it down. Right now I'm studying micro. I'm going to switch over to Biochem at around like seven or eight. And I'm going to just study that till I feel good. Um, or until I get extremely tired and no longer productive but for micro I've already done a little bit of the cumulative review I need to do a little bit more probably like 30 45 minutes staff and strep I did yesterday but I'm going to review it again today and Nate I just did I'm about to sit down and do adaptive and then I have complement which should be fairly easy because I'm just gonna draw it out and hope for the best and I watched a bunch of videos on it because I didn't understand it in the beginning then I have vaccines that's going to be a doozy because we have to know all the different types of vaccines you can get. And I just remember writing them into Quizlet. So that's that's the only exposure I've had to them. And then we have immunodeficiencies. I might not even worry about this one. Sometimes in life, you take L's. And immunodeficiency might be that for me. Um, we're going to try though. We're going to try though because I saw Biochem. And I took a practice practice exam and I still have a Kahoot to do to see how well I really know the first week's material. But my practice exam went about as expected, which is not good, but not terrible. Like it's just so much information. Like how do you how do you remember this much information? Like I sometimes I physically think that my brain is not capable of remembering everything that they want me to remember on top of like daily basic functions like i i any who's in we're gonna get to work okay i'll probably see you guys when it's dark outside because it's already five can you do a transition on youtube let's try it had to finish that transition from earlier we'll see if i actually edit it in there probably not who knows when you'll even see this video. Cause I'm supposed to post a new YouTube video today, but it's gonna come out tomorrow. I'm incredibly too stressed. So I made a lot of progress, but the sad thing is, is like I full for, mm, if you can't tell, I haven't taken a break in a while. For micro, I feel like I know about a good 80, 85% of the information, but even if you miss like, say you miss four questions out of like 20, that's still an 80. Which don't get me wrong, like I'd be ecstatic if that's what I received tomorrow on the final of all things. But like I wanna do really, really good. And so I'm just like, like how can two or three questions that I don't like you you literally have to be perfect you literally have to be perfect and I don't understand I don't understand and now I understand like why like when we were asking because you can ask like the medical students um who are like help or like TAs and stuff like that and even just like come and talk to us like oh like what made you choose the school that you went to and a lot of them were like oh pass fail and it makes sense it, it, it really does make sense because a grade is not indicative of how much you know, but you have to be tested on the knowledge. Like I understand both sides of the story. 
And yeah, so I'm done with micro for right now. I will probably try to come back to it later tonight. I don't know. I really want to get to bed early tonight because sleep is helpful before the exam, so they say. And I could always, I could always study micro more before micro exam because that's later. But I really just, I really don't want to get to bed until I know all that I know. You know, like I would much rather be a little bit tired and be able to answer the questions that I got wrong or like understand why I got them wrong or like memorize the simple stuff that I miss, you know. Some of it is memorization, but there is one topic that I have not seen, so I'm about to look that one up, definitely. But I'm about to take a little bit of a longer break. I know I just said that I have a lot to do. But I have to take a break. Like, my brain literally is not functioning. I think I got some of the ones that I... My camera just ran out of storage. So, we're back to the phone until I could go to Best Buy. Nonetheless, like I was saying, um, oh, I have to take a break. My brain is not functioning the way that I would like it to right now. Like, it's just glazing over stuff that I know that I know. But that's also... A thing of why I should go to bed early because I don't want to glaze over things that I know that I know tomorrow but I think I'll be on a little bit more high alert so I think I should be fine but I'm still gonna try to be in the bed early ish at least six hours okay all right well I'll see you guys probably at the end of the night let you know how it's going oh by the way it's almost eight o'clock here I don't know where the day has gone. Actually, I do. <laughs> but we're just going to pretend like I don't know where it's gone. Okay, guys. It's around 11.36. I just got finished downloading both of... Ooh, that's beautiful. Didn't know that that was happening. Um, I just got finished downloading both of my exams for tomorrow. Studying went okay. I feel like I'm always cramming because I want to like see everything one last time. And with the amount of information that we have, that's just like highly not possible. But yeah, I'm going to get a good night's rest and probably wake up an hour or three before the exam and study. Get any last minute studying I can in and hopefully I pass both of them all right but good night and if i didn't probably won't see you before the exam because i'll be super duper nervous but um and it's at 9 a.m i think i will talk to you guys after they're both done i've seen a lot of change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago